Mm. What are you gonna try next? Fish. Fish? Fish. Okay. Mmm, so soft. I love how mushy everything is at Red Lobster. How do you pair wine with mushiness? I'm Harley Morstein and this is Wine and Cheeseburger, a show where I whine and eat cheeseburgers while my cat watches in disgust. Oh no wait, that's something else I do every night at home. This is a show where I team up with my tan and telepath to learn how to pair my favorite takeout foods with wine. Today on the menu is a fried seafood platter from Red Lobster. Mmm, yuck. Get your lobster bib ready. Fried shrimp, fried bass scallop, fried wild caught white fish. If it swims, they killed it. The fact that it's all batter and deep fried to golden brown perfection is just an added bonus. Pretty soon it'll all be swimming around in my belly. Hi. Hey. You have a bib on. That's right. Why? I'm a fancy boy. Huh. I'm a big, bibby, fancy boy. I'm just being fastidious. Harley, I think you have a bite. I do. Is that possible? It's possible. Oh, not just any bite, a big one too. Oh, it's a big boy. Come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay, he's wrestling me. Oh. Careful. I got it. The big boy, he's wrestling. I got it. He's I got wrestling. It. I got it. <laughs> what are we eating today? For you, nothing but the best. Red lobster. Wow, thank you. Yeah. That's the best part. How can you not get hyped up about red lobster? This looks amazing, Harley. You want to yeah. tell me what we're eating? Seafood. A fried seafood platter. So what each thing is, it doesn't even matter. It's delicious and it's wrapped up in a nice snug deep fried jacket. I like it. Seafood, fried, there are lots of options for wine with this. Yeah, what about this bad boy? That's my favorite part. Do you save it for last or do you get it right away? I eat half at the beginning to start and save the last half for my last final taste. You sneaky bitch. I know. I'm gonna do the same tactic. Okay. Ready? Yeah, you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Garlicky, doughy, buttery, delicious. Nothing better than that. Which one are you gonna get first? Um, I'm going shrimp. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Yep. Mmm. That is classic. Mm-hmm. It's so interesting because there's a lot of really delicate flavors from the white fish and the, all the seafood, but then they have this like crisp, really delicious batter fried on top. So we're gonna have to find a wine to pair with the fish and the batter. You think we can do it? I think you could do it. You ready to drink some wine? I'm ready to drink some wine. I'm gonna go pick some out, okay? All right. Now that she's gone, it's time for a Harley hack. Harley's hacks. You ever bought a bottle of red wine and not finished it like some sort of rookie chump? Don't throw it away. Don't you dare throw it away. I'm gonna show you how to turn that red wine into red wine vinegar. Step one, gather the wine. Get four cups of the remaining red wine from previous episodes and pour it into a jar like this. Step two, one cup of vinegar. Cover it with a cheesecloth and secure it with a rubber band. Over the next couple of weeks, check in on your wine. Give it a good sniff. And then when it gets to that desired sharp vinegary smell, strain and bottle. <laughs> it's alive. You ready for some wine? Oh, I gotta be the papa, you could be the mom. Harley, stop. Fun time's over. Wine time. Oh, fun time's beginning. Wine number one, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I would say that this is one of New Zealand's most famous wines. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I think it's gonna pair so well with seafood. It's so high in acid to combat all the fried nature of the food, but it's got all these wonderful like passion fruit and lime flavors. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? Yeah, I that do, it smells lime? good. I kind of smelt it before I even went into it. That means it has a really big nose. What do you want to try with it? The shrimp or the fish? I'm going shrimp. Have not, the... not the calamari? You have a calamari, I'll have a shrimp and let's see if it goes well with both.
What do you think? Really good. Really high in acid. Is your mouth mm. watering like crazy right now? It's wet. Do be wet. Can I tell you what I find interesting about it? Yeah. I think the acidity, once you have some of that fried shrimp, it really calms that watering down in your mouth. Can you pair the wine with like the old grease that this was deep fried in? Is that something you consider? Because like if we're pairing to sauces, mm -hmm. then this grease has to be considered a sauce. Like I mean, what they're deep frying it in is something in itself. It's a sauce all on its own. You want to try something completely different? Yeah. Wine number two. Totally different, so we need to cleanse our palates. Today, I asked for some saltine crackers. Crackers and cheese. No, just the crackers. cracker. And then the cheese. <laughs> now all we're gonna taste is cheese. Mmm. That is delicious. That is so good. <laughs> that is really good. It is. It's like a cheddar bay biscuit, but harder. <laughs> it's not doing a very good job at cleansing our palate, though. How do you know that? You can't use cheese to cleanse your palate. How do you know that? It's too strong of a flavor. All I can taste is cheese. Wine number two. You ready for this? Yes. What do you think this is? Sake. It says it on the bottle. It's looking right at me. <laughs> and I know how to read. Sake. I thought it would be so interesting to try something that is made just like wine is made. In Japan, they make this just like they make wine, but it's made out of rice. And I think it's going to be such a great pairing to all this seafood. What do you think? Yeah. You're telling me, so I, I trust you. Now take a bite of food. What are you going to have? I don't know. I never know. This little guy right here. That's delicious. Mm, Asian excellence. You know, I thought that because sake and sushi pair really well, that maybe it might pair well to the seafood here. And I think it's worked. Yeah, definitely. It's delicious. It just hits so different. The breading really gets tempered down by all the nuttiness and the bread flavors in the sake. They kind of balance each other out. Yeah, that's great. What do you think? I think it's good. I really like the sake. You ready for wine number three? Yeah. We are having cava from Spain. The thing that I love about cava is that it's a much more reasonably priced sparkling wine, but it's made exactly the same way in the traditional method that champagne is made. Look how many bubbles are packed into the top there like that. Look at all those bubbles. Who doesn't love a bubbly, pretty drink like that anyway? Look at all those bubbles. Isn't it gorgeous? There's a lot of bubbles. I know. What do you think? The smell and the taste, it takes, it takes me a lot of places. Like, I'm going to soccer practice. I'm in the back seat of my friend's car. But it's like heating up all the smells that are ingrained into the seats that have been sitting through the winter, festering. They're coming out now in the heat. You know what's ridiculous? I actually can tell what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy, this one? Okay, Harley, we're at that point. What's your favorite? The bubbly boy. Me too. It's the best. I feel like it kind of combines the best of both worlds from the Sauvignon Blanc and the sake, and it's just a delicious, delicious pairing with the seafood. Yeah, I'm a big sake fan, but at the end of the day, right here in this direct comparison, this guy just tastes great on his own. And he's doing so much work for Red Lobster. Cheers. Thanks for a great meal. My pleasure, this was awesome. Thank you for coming. I love drinking wine with you. I'm gonna head out. All right. Have a great night. You too. See you next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna catch a big one right now. Oh, I got a bite. Laura, I got a bite. Laura? I'm fishing in the drive through window and I got a big one. Oh, what do we got here? What's this say? Do not open. <laughs> Definitely open. What is this? Some kind of curse? Some kind of curse? Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wine and Cheeseburger. Hit that like button, leave a comment, I read all of them, and also subscribe for more videos.